In the second word spoken by Jesus while on the cross, there are two other noticeable men perched on crosses on either side of Jesus. In the Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus shares a story about eternal life, and he uses a word picture related to goats and sheep. That is about us, mankind. Jesus states that when the Son of Man comes into his glory and all of the angels are with him and all the nations are gathered before him, he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. What is Jesus saying to us? For those who do not accept invitation to be followers and emulate the Lord, he will, they will be sent to the left and they will go into eternal punishment. And those who are cast on the right, who Jesus refers to as the sheep, they have been declared righteous, and they will go and be with Jesus forevermore. Amen. Lastly, in this text found in the book of Luke, chapter 23, there are these two men, convicted felons, on each side of Jesus. One is like the goat, and one is like the sheep. I present to you one of the men, the goat. Well. Who I call the idiot. Hmm. On the right, I call this man the one who had good sense. Uh -huh. So now we have three people on three separate crosses, and Jesus is right in the middle. Uh -huh. The idiot joins in with all the other naysayers and says to Jesus, Why don't you save yourself if you are who you say you are? Right, right, right. You know, idiots are ignorant, sadly. Right. But such were some of us. The one with good sense said, you idiot. Both of us belong on this cross and worse. We, be, we deserve punishment. The man with good sense said, this man has done nothing wrong. The man with good sense continued, idiot, shut up. Because I
Robert. Paradise is beautiful. It's irresistible. It's beautiful. And I got gotcha. you. I can imagine Jesus turning to his left to the idiot. And he said, you may deny me now. On your deathbed tomorrow. But I tell you what I told Peter. I prayed for you. And I prayed that none would be lost. And yet, even if you call on my name, from the bottom of the ocean, if all 239 of you call on my name now, I will save you. I will hear you and I will answer your call. And he said to the idiot on the left again, little naysayer that you are. I need to tell you something. The Bible says that every knee shall bow. All in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. So you go ahead. You go ahead and close your ears. But I'm going to tell you, I'm coming back. I'm coming back in glory. And for you on the left, it ain't going to be free. So to us tonight, are you a goat or a sheep? Come on now. Will you be cast into eternal damnation or spend eternity with Jesus? To us tonight, will we allow ourselves to stay to the left and remain? Will we allow others to stay to the left and let them remain ignorant of the life, the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? To those of you who don't know Jesus, you have an opportunity to hear him say, Truly today, you shall be with me. You can be with me. All you have to do is ask. Jesus was in much pain and agony on the cross, but he wasn't so self-absorbed that he wasn't thinking about you and me. Jesus is about to die. And he made a promise on the cross. Some of us can make a promise to somebody for the next day. But the man on the right turned to Jesus, and he said, will you remember me? Ask him to save you, and you will hear him say, truly, I say to you this day, you will be with me in paradise. Yes. Jesus said, I got you. I'm not going to let you go. Come on, let's go.